Hello everyone, welcome to Absent Minds. My name is Shad. This is Shad Spoils. I haven't done one of these in a pretty long time. Um, so today is, I'm going to be, today I'm going to be talking about Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, Obi-Wan Kenobi is a new Star Wars show on Disney Plus and um, it is complete trash. <laughs> I'm gonna be pretty fucking honest with you. It's not good at all. Um, now, I want to preface this by saying that I am not like a huge Star Wars fan. Like, I love Star Wars. I love the movies. I love the, some of the shows. I uh, love the cartoons. I love the video games. But I'm not like all encompassing, all knowledgeable person when it comes to Star Wars. Like, Star Wars is great, it's fantastic. But now we're at the point where they're just milking the shit out of it. And it's just kind of getting stupid. And this show is no exception. Um, where do I start? Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is after Return of the Jedi, I want to say. I believe. And Obi-Wan's on Tatooine trying to protect Luke. And it's... I assumed when going into this show that it was going to be mostly about that. But... Turns out it is not. So this show is not what I expected. This is kind of a big disappointment, to be honest with you. It just, it was not good. The first four episodes when I watched them, I was just so bored. And I didn't care about anything that was happening. It was just poorly written, poorly acted, besides Ian McGregor, who played Obi. Also, the little girl who played Leia was actually pretty good. Um... But everyone else was just kind of just like a waste of time. It didn't get good until Vader popped on the screen, which is played by Hayden Christensen, which is great. Majority of the show felt like a waste of time. Like it felt like anything, nothing we were doing was necessary. Like I could have gone my whole life not knowing that Leia got kidnapped and Obi-Wan had to go save her. I feel like that was just completely pointless to the overall story of Star Wars. And the whole shit with the Inquisitors was a complete waste of time. You had all these Inquisitors and none of them did anything at all. They were kind of useless and trash and especially Reva, which I'll get to in a second. I don't know, I don't know what I expected when I first heard this show was coming out. I definitely thought it was maybe going to be like... I don't fuck. I don't, honestly, I don't even fucking know. Maybe because maybe it was like a lot of Obi Wan training himself in order to protect Luke when the time came. But then he just got and got lazy and just did didn't do anything the entire time he was watching over Luke. And he was just like, "Well, wasn't the point of you watching over him to protect him? Why didn't you just pick up some tricks here and there to learn about the Force? Like, why did you just like give up on the Force altogether? Like, it was just." And then at the end, he became completely powerful and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Vader. Which <sighs> just came out of fucking nowhere. Um, I'm kind of just like spilling my hatred for this show. Now, there are some episodes that are good. Five and six. The last two episodes were good-ish. They were, they were okay. But they weren't. it wasn't enough to where I would be like, this show's fantastic. And... I think everyone's pretty split, at least from what I've seen. I've seen a lot of people. I was just talking to people not too long ago. People, some people love it, and I'm just like, this show is not good. This show was written by like people who don't know anything about Star Wars. It was just this felt like two different shows at at times. On one hand, you had the shit with the Inquisitors, which I still did not give a flying fuck about. And then the stuff with Obi-Wan, who was trying to save Leia, which I still did not give a fuck about. Only time I gave a fuck is when Vader popped up on the scene, and it was Vader and Obi-Wan in the same scene. That's what I wanted the most. I, You could have just had the entire show just been Vader and fucking Obi-Wan, like, trying to go through this trauma that they just fucking had. Like, Obi-Wan leaving Anakin to die, and just turning into this monster and then obi-wan living with that regret like that could have been the entire show but instead we had fucking tom and jerry reva as a character was just i know she's supposed to be written as horrible 
and she was supposed to have some type of redemption. She was one of the younglings during Order 66, and Anakin kind of wiped out her peeps. And then she kind of became an Inquisitor to sort of get back at Darth Vader for doing that. Which I don't know how she can... I don't know how she got from, oh, Anakin killed my parents to Anakin's Darth Vader. I don't know how the fuck she figured that out. That's... And she's had some, like, someone telling her some secrets. Because all she knows is Anakin killed her. Her friends. She doesn't know that Darth Vader did it. That's so weird. Such a weird, like, reach. <laughs> Such a, like, the fact that she got there from absolutely nothing is stupid writing. Um, there's a lot of that in here where it was just like, they say something or they do something and then you just gotta be like, oh, okay, and just move on. Like, they, there's no explanation to anything that's happening. It's just like, something happens, oh, we're gonna move on. So once she tries to, tries to kill Darth Vader, which is, in my opinion, the dumbest fucking thing you can ever possibly do. Why would you even try to attack Darth Vader? Like, you're fucking stupid, bitch. <laughs> what are you doing with yourself? So as she tries to attack him, of course she just, he fucking destroys her. And he stabs her. And she's still alive for some fucking reason. I don't know how she survives a stab to the chest from a lightsaber. I don't know how her insides aren't just ripped to shreds and melted. Like, it's so stupid. And then you have her going after Luke. And that's where it's like, I don't understand... I don't understand how we got to that point like if you were really trying to kill Darth Vader why would you go after Luke though like why would you be like ah, I'm just gonna kill this kid like I don't understand like if you're trying to be redeemed and that was like your redeeming moment of trying to kill Darth Vader and then like we I felt like they should have had her come and help Obi-Wan or something but no they just kept her attacking another kid like it was, where's the redeeming quality in that? You, you're still an asshole now. Like, she wasn't going to be redeemed to me at all. Like, I didn't give a fuck about her in any sort of way. She, I'm pretty sure she's done some heinous shit as an Inquisitor. And she hung that guy in the town. She fucking hung him by the neck. That one Jedi dude. And she just hung him up and then just walked away. And, like, we're supposed to forgive you for that? Like, oh, I feel bad. Like, oh, man. You got a heart. You wanted to kill Vader because he killed your friend. No, I don't care. You're an Inquisitor now. <sighs> like I said, the, the, the cool parts were when Vader showed up. Anytime Vader was, like, doing Vader shit, it was dope. But anything, everything else was just boring. Like I, I didn't care about this show. Finale... Again, had great parts, phenomenal parts, but it's just uh, everything else was just stupid. So they're running away, and then Obi Wan's like, "I can distract him for a few minutes," and then they split off. Of course, Darth Vader goes after Obi Wan. Asks, you know, why not? They go to this random fucking planet, and they have a battle, which is a great fight scene. It is very, very well done, and I love it so much. And there's this one scene where fucking Obi-Wan cuts Darth Vader's helmet. And you just see Hayden Christensen's face. And like his voice modulator is all fucked up. So he's like, it's switching between Hayden Christensen's voice and James Earl Jones' voice. And it's just, they're having this emotional conversation with each other. And that part just felt so good. I would have accepted just that. Like, it didn't even have to be a series. It could have just been that scene, nonstop. That part was the best part in the entire series. <laughs> I feel like that's all anybody wanted about this show. They just wanted this Vader Obi-Wan conflict. They all they wanted to see. That's all we really wanted to see. We wanted to see that relationship and what was going on in that relationship and what was happening and shit like that. And we didn't get any of that. We just got other unnecessary bullshit that was completely irrelevant to my life. And I probably not gonna rewatch this show at all uh this might be like the first show i've reviewed that's like or first thing i've reviewed that i've just hated <laughs> like i just didn't like at all uh it's not good at all if you're interested if you haven't seen obi-wan don't watch it i suggest watching the very last episode of obi-wan kenobi and then 
turn it off. Don't ever watch any other episode. <laughs> That's it. Like, honestly, just... No, don't even watch the last episode. Just watch that fight scene with Obi-Wan and Darth Vader. And watch that beautiful conversation they have with each other. And it's... That's all you need. Everything else is just fucking garbage. It was all trash. So... Sorry, Obi-Wan. You're gonna get, like, a... A D? D plus, maybe? That's my rating for that show. I'm sorry it had to be that way, but... It, it's, I was very anticipating this show and it fucking disappointed me so much. This just made me hunger for Mandalorian another season to come out. That's it. I hope Ahsoka is not this fucking bad either. Which... <laughs> oh. oh, so disappointed. I hate this show so bad. Uh, Alright, let me know what you guys thought of Obi-Wan. Did you watch Obi-Wan? Let me know what you think about this show. Because honestly... This ain't it, Chief. This could have been a thousand times better, to be quite fucking honest with you. I hate that it wasn't. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.